Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a Mag Prime build. Now, not, not a lot of my uh, mods are maxed out, so you may gonna have to like, use like one former. Uh, I am trying to max them out as quick as I can. I also want to make the game fun for me as well. I don't want to make the game where I'm getting bored of it. So, it might take me a long time, but it probably won't. So, with this build, it is kind of really simple. I've been using this build for quite a long time with using Mag. Now, I don't use Mag in hard mode as she's basically really squishy. You don't really want to use like ones that are, like do damage in hard mode. So, I mean, you just use tank frames in hard mode. But this build is really good for like normal mode and all that. So, so let's just show you the abilities first. So, the abilities are actually all kind of simple to be honest. So, pull really easy here. Magnetic force pulls enemies toward. Toward you, stunning them and bringing them into melee range. Really simple ability, right there. Next is a magnetize. So now this creates a magnetic field around a target, en ensnaring nearby enemies and dealing damage over time. The field reacts to bullets and shards created from polarized to increase damage. So now what I would normally do with magnetize is I'll do magnetize. I will put a couple of my Kura Brahma uh, arrows into it. So probably like one, two shots of that into it. And then I'll do polarize, just to, because then that's just really good. So next is polarize. So emit an energy pool that depletes enemy shields and armor, creating shards which become deadly. When mixed with magnetize, the shields of allies touched by the pools are restored. Really good ability to use by obviously getting rid of the armor and shields. So I recommend you always use this. Next is crush. Magnetize the bones of nearby enemies, causing them to collapse upon themselves. Now, it's not an amazing ability to use, it's an okay ability, but when I normally use mag, I'm mainly just using a magnetize and polarize. I don't really use her fourth and uh, first. I probably sometimes use her first every now and then, but not all the time. So, let's get to the build. So, for the build, we have is steel charge. Now, you could change it if you want to have a different aura on it, you can, can if you want to. But personally, I would have steel charge because I normally just use melee all the time. So next we have a transit fortitude for that damage. Then we have fleet and expertise for the efficiency. Streamline for the efficiency again. Rolling guard. Now I put this on because I try to actually use this in hard mode and it kind of does work a lot. Uh, you just got to be really careful when you play hard mode with mag. So if you want to use this build on hard mode, I recommend having rolling guard because it can help you out quite a lot. Next is Blind Rage. Now I use Blind Rage for mainly for the damage, and obviously we do have Transit Fortitude for the damage. But the reason why we put Blind Rage on is because we have Overextended for that range. So that's why we had to put Blind Rage on to make sure we have a decent amount of damage. And then we also have Vitality and a Prime Continuity. Very now this is a very good build to use. Now what you could do if you really wanted to, instead of using like for example Transit Fortitude, what you could do is add Umbral Intensify and Umbral Vitality. Now, I don't want to change up my build too much. I will probably in the future when I put more form on it. But if you have more former than what I've got right now, you could probably put Umbral Intensify and Vitality instead of Transit Fortitude so you have more duration. But basically what this build does is that it has a short duration so that this magnetize then goes down quicker and then obviously it will explode and do a lot of damage like that. Now, we also have the efficiency so we can keep recasting it as quick as we can, as much as we want. And then, yeah, that's basically it. So, I do want to remind you, we do have a giveaway for this month. If you want to know on how to actually enter this giveaway, there will be a little card on top of the screen right now, and there will also be a card at the end of the screen. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.